you can kind of get him used to that instead of waiting for the big wind to blow and get you into trouble. And he could kind of look at that. There, see that one kind of looked at him. Now he might get by that tire. There, see he shifted his weight back over his hawks that time. And we'll see what happens here. See that tire came into play. There, that's pretty good. You're not trying to do too much. I'm not trying to cut it. I'm just trying to get him so that he'll do something with his feet. And his hind quarters are important. You just keep focused where you want to go. And you know, pretty soon he'll go. But you got to be careful. A lot of folks just do too much. He'll start to focus on what we're doing. I just have a, a picture in my mind, follow those cows. He doesn't have to do anything, but just follow those cows. Try to keep him looking at the cow. I'm looking at this black cow. See, he's kind of hung up. There he got straight. Now I want him to kind of go on. See, he says, but I can't go on. That tire's there. I said, well, you can go around a little bit. See, I wouldn't have made an issue out of it and tried to drive him over that tire he's a little worried about. There, he's going to trot a little. There, that was good. So I think people just get going too fast, too quick. Now he's gaining ground with his feet. He's thinking them horses there. That's probably not, uh, maybe that fella would trade spots. That's probably not the best one on the end there. There you go. So see, you just kind of get him to kind of look at it. 